Hello Color Increase family, hope you guys are doing well. So this week's page is from Metamorphia by Kirby Rosans and it is the unicorn page. Uh, I have done this double page spread from Color Morphia as well uh, quite a while ago and I did a black unicorn with red flowers then. I will include a picture for you guys you know to have a look. Uh, but this time I thought I would go with the classic uh, white and the pink roses, uh, you know, classic unicorn. Uh, but then I thought it will be uh, too usual. So I came up with this purple and the pink palette. And this will be uh, the palette for most of the page including the background uh, except for his uh, uh, horn and uh, face shield which will be a uh, brassy gold uh, palette and that will be the same for the leaves and stems as well uh, so that uh, the leaves and stem they don't stand out apart from the page you know uh, if I have to go with the green the usual color so yeah as usual I start with my uh, shadows then go to my midtones and then the highlights uh the flowers uh i did uh like you know uh solely purple flowers solely pink flowers and a combination of both of them as well um and i have also went wild with my combinations here you know as i say no you don't have to use all the colors at all the time and you can go crazy at times too so yeah my uh flower combinations here and especially the buds uh, like quite a few ones they are going to be very different I didn't even plan to do with those colors so yes uh, go wild go crazy he is your unicorn <laughs> so yes um, it is uh, uh, pretty simple to follow so I'll uh, see you guys when we do the uh, the golden tone one okay
so here we are uh, with the Han and uh, face mask or face shield should I say so yeah um, so here I didn't want to have a bright gold or the usual gold tones I really wanted a muted one and so I went with these uh, color pencils here and I used one of my unusual pencil that I would use or choose from the Prisma color palette uh, it is the metallic gold one uh, this pencil really gave me that uh, you know brassy uh, gold undertone which I wanted and uh, this is a combination that I've already tried in one of the other pictures in my coloring so uh, yeah this turned out to be a very uh, uh, very um, complementing uh, uh, gold tone I would say for the purple and the pink uh, which I went for here so yeah uh, this uh, horn I wanted you uh, guys to you know have a good look so this will be in real time uh, if you want to follow along or color along, color along with me and rest of the video is in uh, speed coloring mode
so here we are coloring the unicorn himself so i am really very excited to you know show you guys how i colored him because this was a very interesting combination which uh, came to me when i was trying the palette for the flowers and this is uh, a combination which i'm using for the first time so i'm really excited so yeah this uh, set of combination is uh, you know calm they are they are totally complementary and they totally come from opposite color families um so the one point uh, i would keep in mind you know when using uh, complementary colors or totally different color families together uh try not to blend them too much together so that they don't turn out to be a color that you don't want to be there in your picture so if you want to blend blend uh, like for example here uh, when i'm using the purples i would blend the purples alone and i would blend the peaches alone um, you know you can blend them together to an extent but you have to be very careful that they don't uh, you know uh, turned out to be a muddy color or a color that you don't want it to be there and yeah that is the only point that would that i would have in mind uh, when using these uh, complementary colors but other than that uh, he was so fun to do and i was super excited how he turned out and this color palette could be used for a full uh, flower page and i can totally imagine how beautiful the flowers would turn out uh, you know if we use this color palette for a flower page so yeah this was the interesting um, part of the page i would say and the second interesting part would be the background and that was uh, an in, uh, interesting thing that i tried out for the first time as well it was an inspiration from pinterest so i'll see you guys when i'm doing that
for the background here uh, i use my oil pastels from both faber castell and the mongeo aquarel ones and i picked up all the shades from dark purple to light uh, pink uh, and peach tones along with the white for this i drew some random lines as you can see here and uh, wherever i want to place the colors uh, i just uh, drew those colors there and then i blended or uh, blended all of them together with my finger sponge blender and um, the purple uh, the darkest purple shade from the mongeo aquarel one was a little streaky uh, it didn't blend well as i wanted it to be but then um, it turned out to be good uh, i would say that was just a you know the rest of the colors they blend in so smoothly but for this one so yeah uh, other than that it worked out Uh, they all worked out very nicely then i used my electrical uh, eraser from derwent and a circular stencil ruler and i used the smallest circle in that ruler to erase out uh, some parts here and there in the background and uh, on that i used my white posca to give a dot in the center so that it will have the glue to it and you can add as many dots as you want uh, i also added some uh, the glowing shine at the tip of the horn and uh, and i also used the uh, eraser to create some good highlights on the horn because i thought it was like a little bit dull for me so yeah you can use the eraser to create highlights wherever you want and i also covered some of the black lines in front in the front uh, part of the nose of the unicorn as well as that small creature you know uh, in his wings so yeah you can have as many dots as you want to be and i also and i also went uh, here and there with my Pasca pens, pink, purple, and white to give some tiny dots here and there, as you can see, and uh, your unicorn will be ready. So yeah, this was a very interesting page, especially with the unicorn himself. So I hope you guys had fun watching this video. If you like it, please do share uh, and comment. Uh, and if you guys haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please consider subscribing. and i will see you all in my next coloring video till then happy coloring bye